Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about this saying, because I get it a lot. I get it in phone calls and I get it in emails. And basically it's, I'm still unhappy with the sound in my room after I've spent all this money on treatment. Let me give you an example. I got a call from a doctor in Jamaica the other day. And he bought over $10,000 worth of product from one of our competitors. He put it in his room and he called me. He says, Dennis, I hate the sound in my room. And I said, all right, let's break that word hate apart. Let's figure out why you don't like it. Let's start with the low end. I hate the low end, he says. It doesn't even, I can't hear anything. The low end smothers everything. And I says, yes, but you bought all these bass traps. And he said, I did, but uh, either they don't work or I'm missing something or I don't know what the answer is. Can you help me? So then we talked about the middle and high frequencies, and he said, they're just too dead. He says, there's no life in the music. And I said, <clears throat> excuse me, did the competitor who sold you this, did he ever ask you about how big your room was? He said, no. And I said, okay, how big is your room? He said, 12, 12, 12. And we all know from my videos, from the literature, that a cube with equal dimensions is the worst room you could have acoustically. So it wouldn't matter if you put $30,000 worth of treatment in the room. It's not going to sound good. So you have to be careful. You have to be really careful about what you're doing. And room size does matter. So you have to look at the treatment aspect of it. So back to the example, what are we going to do? Well, I told him to send back the uh, $10,000 worth of treatment if he could. And now we're going to knock out a wall and we're going to change some dimensions. So we're going to make the room at least acceptable from the start. Then we add treatment. Treatment will never compensate for a bad room. I don't care how much you spend. So you have to be really careful. There's a balancing act here. If you approach treatment step by step, you'll, you'll really be a lot better off. You'll spend less money. You'll be able to hear the changes. You'll be able to hear the power of the technology you're using. And your hearing and brain are usually pretty good enough to figure out what to do next once you have a baseline to compare from. So the bottom line here is we must first match the size of the room, the volume of the room to what we're doing. Home theater, way different than two channel. Home theater, way different than two channel with subwoofers. Home theater, way different in terms of 5.1, 7.1, I saw 11.2 the other day, Dolby Atmos, all of these issues. So you must match what you're doing in the room, how big the room is, with the process that's going on in it. And the first, and I, I think I could just do a recording and play this every day for people. You have to start with the low frequency of the room first. It's the most difficult part to treat. It's the most expensive. It takes the most treatment, but you have to start there because if you don't get the low end right, it'll smother everything else, the middle and some of the high frequencies with mud and soup, as we call it. And you can't hear anything through that. So low frequency management must be dealt with first. Then middle and high frequencies can be addressed. And the only technology that we really have for low frequency is absorption. Middle and frequencies, we have both. We have absorption and we have diffusion. But our tools for low frequency are really limited to absorption. So low frequency management, all about attack and decay rates. We want that bass note. We want that fundamental. But we also want to hear the harmonics of the bass note also. So the bottom line is we have to use technologies that have the right rate and level when we're talking about absorption. A lot of products on the marketplace, oh, this absorbs this, this absorbs that. Okay, so it goes down to 40 hertz. Great. That's a good technological achievement in a product. But at what rate? does it do? Does it get 5% at 40 hertz? Okay, so not so good of an achievement then. Does it get 50% at 40 hertz? Much better. So you have to look at 
the level the product goes to and the rate. And there is a rate that works for every room size and usage. It's not that easy. It's complicated and you have to figure it out. Diffusion, we want to select the proper response and the distance. So in a diffuser, the energy that comes out of it has to have a certain distance to form. Maybe it's eight feet, maybe it's nine feet, but we want all the energy out of the diffuser to be able to fully form so we hear everything the diffuser is capable of producing because it's like a speaker an inactive or passive device, but nonetheless, it's radiating energy. So if you're still unhappy with your sound, you got to get back to basics. You got to look at the low frequency management first, get that right. And that takes a lot of effort. We have a database that we can help you with. We can put your room in our database. We know what that size and volume is going to produce in terms of low frequency issues. And we can tell you how much treatment you're going to need where to put it and what type. And then we can go from there. But you got to get the low frequency management first, and then hopefully you'll turn from an unhappy to a happy customer. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. Our room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book an appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it because I need all that information when we talk. But I'll be happy to accommodate you. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation, possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will I'll actually answer your questions and, and comments, so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.